Hey everybody, welcome back to Slice of Gaming. I am the only Pi 3 and 4 and we are puzzling playing Tetris on the Nintendo Entertainment System and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com So let's continue the Tetris marathon that I had going here. Just seeing how far I can actually go. And Tetris has also been in a lot of different shows and also referred to in a lot of popular culture nowadays. Of course, it's been in TV shows. I mean, it's been on Family Guy. It's been on The Simpsons. It's also on a Japanese game show called Brain Wall. I'm pretty sure most people have seen videos on it where the players have to kind of conform to the shape of the incoming wall that's coming at them. They kind of have to bend in different shapes. It's kind of fucking weird, but that's Japan for you. Um, I've said before it's in different viral videos using stop motion animations as well. Um, what else has it been in? It's been in commercials. It's been in Futurama. Um, also, who remembers wasting time in fucking math class? Because math class is always boring as hell. I mean, I hated math as a kid. Who didn't? It was on the graphing calculator that you had to use the, um, I forget what they're called, like the T584 or something or another. I don't know. It's on those fancy scientific calculators that you can download from your friends who had them on their calculators. Of course, they always erase them come test time, which was a pain in the ass, because then you had to find your friend who had the Tetris. If, of course, they didn't get to delete it off their calculators to download it again, only to have it erased again for test time. It was annoying. I didn't like it. I thought the teachers were assholes for doing it, but that's okay. Makes you pay attention, I suppose, in class. There's also different colors as the game progressed when it was ported to all the other systems of Tetris pieces. Hey, come on! I don't want any more of these asshat pieces! I'm getting a stack, which is never a good thing. I'm getting a stack of useless shit! Let's see if I can slide this under here. There we go. <sighs> more of these asshole pieces. Of course, everyone knows what piece I'm waiting for, and it's that guy there. It's not going to help me much, actually, but... Eh, the line's good enough, I suppose. Ah, saved again by one of these. Not going to help me one much once again, but at least it's, I can actually do something now. Which is always nice. Now, oh, there we go. I was just going to say, now, if only I could get another one if I was lucky. I've gotten 34 of those fucking shapes. Make that 35. Ah, <sighs> god damn it. Stupid S shaped pieces. Sure, they come in handy once in a while, but not all the fucking time, speaking of which. Yeah, damn it. So, who else here has never played Tetris? If anybody hasn't, by all means, pick up any fucking system that you own and play it. It's probably on there somewhere. Is there a version on the Xbox? I don't even know. Like I said, I grew up on Nintendo most of my life because, well, my dad loved Mario Kart. My dad grew up on Mario Kart too, and the different games that were on there. He grew up on the RPGs too. Hey, a line piece that I didn't even need, and this asshole shape that comes back to haunt me. What level am I at? Level eight. Okay, this is the level where I paused last time. Well, this this, this is actually gonna help me. There we go. Well, this stupid shape isn't. I've gotten 42 of them. Oh, how many more of the other ones have I gotten? 35? I think those are the two shapes I've actually gotten the most of. Which is usually common in the Tetris games, I find. And what level have you guys gotten the highest to if you've played this game? And like I said, which by all means you should have, it's on the fucking cell phone, too. Downloadable on the iPods. Probably downloadable on the iPhones. I've never owned anything by Mac before, so I don't really know. That's right, I am a Windows person. Hey, I'm at level 9 now! Let's see how far I can get on level 9 here. I'm actually not doing too terribly bad, because I'm not really talking as much as I was before. I am, but it's mostly just random whatever. Whoa. 
I am actually recovering here. Remember when I had that whole freaking stack of those stupid shapes that I couldn't do anything with? Now that I've had 48 of them fall down on me. Oh, I can actually use one of them. I'm 49 now. Stupid shapes. Alright. See, now is the time when you don't panic. You just carefully place your pieces ever so slowly onto the board. Make sure you don't screw up. For some reason I thought after level 9 the difficulty didn't increase, but I guess it does. Ah. Okay, now starting to worry a little bit. I think this is one of the first games where people actually got addicted to it. Sorry if my talking has slowed down, damn it! Okay. It's okay. I can recover. I can recover. Somehow. I don't know how, but I'm going to try to recover. Okay, let's... I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm freaking out. Okay, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, I was trying to get pieces over there, but... Wasn't really working too well, but at least I got to a level 11. My score isn't that high as before, but I'm happy that I got at least that high. They're shooting a missile. Before it was a rocket ship, but now it's a missile. Oh, Russia. Well, I'm happy that I got this high anyways. Uh, what can we name it here? Uh, let's do something naughty. There we go. Oh, Tetris. There. Alright, I think I've pretty much shown off everything that I could in this game and explained as much as I could as well. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little walkthrough.